my lovelies welcome back to my channel and for everybody who is new I'm Leora and I'm so glad you found me okay sweeties today we are going to talk about fall themed palettes fall themed palettes that I have already in my collection and I know this is not a new video idea I've seen it a lot of people have done this and I just felt like hmm Leora do you even have any fall themed palettes because I never buy makeup according to that I never go and think okay so fall is approaching maybe I should go and get myself a fall themed palette this is not how I vibe so that's why I didn't even really 100% realize what do I have is there anything that I, that could like traditionally vibe with that topic except one that I'm going to show you in a second because I just featured that recently and I sort of also marketed the video for like this could be the perfect fall theme palette but we're going to talk about this in a second so anyway I didn't really know how much I had and then when I went through my collection and I'm filming this around a little bit less than two weeks into September like I don't know when this video is going to go up because I'm just filming really we're under lockdown so I'm filming you know um, <laughs> so I don't know when this is gonna go up I don't know because I have a lot of stuff coming also and again because of the lockdown I don't know what's coming when and if at all and how long it's gonna be delayed so I'm just gonna film this today is September 11th anyway so yeah uh, I went through my collection and I was so surprised because sweeties I have a lot of palettes lying here in front of me where I think this is fall themed. This is absolutely fall themed and most of them are actually really traditionally fall themed and some of them I'm like I'm taking it a little bit more loosely and I'm going to also tell you then of course which ones that is. Ooh, there is a fly here I'm so sorry. What in the world? Seriously what are you doing here? Okay so maybe let's just go right in. I hope you're going to enjoy this because I love videos like this. Just you know looking at makeup, talking about it and that is my thing. This is really what I love to do and I've been looking forward to doing this video a couple of days now and was like itching to do it but I, I had to film other stuff first so you know and I had these piles here and I was like oh when I can film when can I film and now now we can. All right sweetie so let's go into this first one that I already uh, held up and this is the um, Collective Cosmetics the Mandela Effect palette. What is it with you fly? Can you just leave me alone? Really? Okay so Never mind. Okay, so this is the Mandela Effects palette. This is how she looks and I already told you when I had my review up that this is such a beautiful color scheme. Now for fall, I have this for quite some time and I only now got around to working with it. That, that's the story of my channel, what can I do? But um, I really, really enjoyed this palette, especially the shimmers were super, super beautiful. And I, fe I feel that this is a beautiful fall themed palette, you know? This is a very, very dark, green also maybe it comes across as a black but it is a very very dark green and together with this olive green here it's beautiful and of course the typical orangey shades like the pumpkin vibe you know really really pretty yeah so that is the collective cosmetics I'm getting really thrown off here by this fly. <laughs> anyway, we're going on to Ace Boutte and I thought, you know, the classical Paradise palette from Ace Boutte, which looks like this, is also a fall themed palette. Maybe a little bit more subdued than the palette we just had, but also here we have those muted red shades or like red wine shades. We have a bit of a green shade. It is, you know, it's a bit of a stretch. It's more like um, a green mixed with an ochre kind of a shade, but still, I would still say it's a green and then of course also like the pumpkin vibe this is going to be a word that I'm going to say a lot probably in this video so <laughs> so I think this is also a fall themed palette you know so that is that then the good sports palette good sport good sport palette from Colourpop this is how she looks and I again I think this let me just get this closer to you, you know, because I also feel that purple can absolutely go into a fall themed palette, which we also just saw in the Mandela Effect palette, you know, there's also here this purple right here, which is a super, super beautiful shimmer. So um, for me personally, purple absolutely fits into a fall themed palette. And if you ask me, it makes it even more special for me when it's in there than just having like orange and the green, you know, so yeah. So here we have it, you know, this leans a little bit green-ish, you know, not 100%, but a little bit like that. So I think this is also like one aspect of a fall themed palette. 
Okay, the next palette is this one. This is from Rude Cosmetics, the Roaring Twenties Reckless palette, which looks like this. I think this is a full theme palette. Okay, okay, so here we have, of course, also a blue in it and stuff, but we also have the greens, we have the orange, we don't have a yellow necessarily, but we have this shade here, which is a duochrome, like um, a rose gold kind of a duochrome, which sort of, you know, could dupe a little bit for like a yellow shade. And anyway, you can pull in another shade from a different palette, but I think this could also be a fall themed palette. You know, I can absolutely do traditional fall themed looks with this palette. So it turns out I, I have a lot. Okay, next one that is a little bit more unusual. And I already told you that some of them uh, with some of the palettes, I'm going to stretch the definition of fall themed palette a little bit. But that is the Berlin Underground palette from, this one say Berlin? No, Berlin. Berlin Underground palette from Nomad Cosmetics. And this is that one. And I feel again that this could be a very, very muted, yes, murky kind of a fall themed palette, you know? I think it's there. Yeah, absolutely. You have the browns, you have sort of like a reddish leaning shade, you have the yellow golden shades and you have a green in it, which is maybe not the most traditional green, but you know, still. Yeah. And in addition to that, which is sort of also fall themed, but not in a traditional way, because you know, you have like fog coming in and like really messy weather. <laughs> so here you have all the grays and those murky shades, you know? So this is a very, very special fall themed palette if you ask me. Okay, moving on. Still a lot, sweeties. I hope you brought time. Okay, the next one that I have not used for about a year is the Suspended in Dusk palette from Rebel Rogue Labs. This is how she looks. Again, this is a bit of an um, unusual color scheme, I would say, but I think it was the fall release even, or the Halloween release of uh, last year, of 2019. And this is how she looks, and I think this is an exceptionally beautiful palette. This is so, so well done, so special, so unusual. I, by the way, got that in PR from Rebel Rogue Labs. It's the only PR I've ever gotten, really. Anyway, so there's also going to be another palette that I'm going to show you. Um, and I got both of them, you know, so it's really, really amazing. Okay, so this is a beautiful, beautiful palette. Unusual because there is no orange and no yellow and stuff in it. But does it always have to be the predictable pumpkin kind of a vibe? No, you know, this is also fall, you know, so just say. Okay, then I have the other palette from Rebel Rogue Labs and of course ever since they have gotten come out I think with another two palettes. So these were the first two and here this is the um, Losing My Religion. The Losing My Religion palette. Okay, so one could of course say this is sort of a rainbow palette a little bit but again you do have the greens, you do have the purple, you have a brown, you have like a more um, muted kind of a cold neutral, you have the yellow you know, what's not fall about that? Would I use that any day of the year? Of course, you know, it's not an issue for me, but still I think this could also go for a fall theme, you know? So that is the Losing My Religion palette from Rebel Rogue Labs. Then I have to fix my lip. <sighs> All right, and then we're going on to Anastasia Beverly Hills, the Norena, which one was that? The Norena 3 palette. This is how she looks. <laughs> I think the outer packaging already gives it away, sort of, a little bit. Let me just open this. And there we go, you know? <laughs> you know what I mean? This is basically everything you'll ever need for a fall themed palette. Really, you know, again, you have the, the pop of purple, you have some teals, you have the greens, you have the orange, you have the yellow, you even have reds and you do have browns. What else do you need? There's nothing else you need for a traditional fall themed palette. And this came out, I want to say this September 2019. So they did release that as a fall palette. And I think it is a very, very successfully like well done palette, you know? Yeah. So that is the Norena 3. And then I want to show you something that I have already for a very long time. And I haven't used it that much because I'm not vibing so much with the formula. Honestly, I got that as a gift from my best friend in, in America. And this is the Flamingo palette from Violet Voss. And here again, I'm stretching it a little bit because it is a little bit more, let's say, um, a softer vibe. You know, let me just get this closer to you, maybe like that. So it has a bit of a softer vibe to it. 
but I think with a bit of a stretch you can use that as a traditional palette for, for fall because you do have all these oranges till yellow, you have a lot of like corally shades of brown, you have the pop of purple, you have the teals if you want to pull them in. So I think this could also go, you know, with a bit of a stretch. But anyway, um, yeah, so I'm as of right now or as so far, maybe I should try it again because when I used that the last time, I think my makeup skills were also not that good yet. So I, maybe I should use it and just see if that is still true that I'm not buying so much with the formula but back then I remember that I really struggled with the Violet Voss formula but anyway just saying you know all right then let's go to the next one which is the Magic Mini from Juvia's Place and of course you know what there are Juvia's Place palettes like let me just see where do I have this one um, for example this one here this is the Nomad palette from Juvia's Place oops plastic falling out which could also go of course for a fall themed palette maybe I'm just gonna pull this in because why not um, this was not really planned because I thought that maybe it should have more colors more options but still you know what you know you have like murky greens and you have um, egg yolk yellow and you have orange and you have browns you know fall themed palette I don't know I don't know why I was insecure about this palette I shouldn't be. Okay, next one from, from Juvia's Place, which is, I think, a little bit more traditional as a fall theme palette, is the Magic Mini palette, which looks like this. You know? So again, you have a gold, you have the brown, you have the orange, you have the green. Okay, so you have a lot of blue going on in this palette too, but you know what? <laughs> Why not wearing some blue also during the fall, you know? So there we go. Next one, also from Juvia's Place, is the Nubian too which looks like this. Now this is definitely also a fall themed palette. I can't believe how huge these pans are. <laughs> it's like really crazy. You know, again, oh, this shimmer is so pretty, this orange shimmer. And then you have the orange matte, you have all these brown shades. Here is like a super, super dark purple shimmer. The, this is like a um, dark plum, beautiful. The green, beautiful, you know, very, very fall very fall. Okay, um, then here, Blush Tribe. Now, Blush Tribe doesn't exist anymore. It's now Miali Beauty, but um, anyway, this is a Blush Tribe palette that I got when it released, and this is the Fall Fusion palette. I think that was back then a limited edition palette, and I bought this because one of the shades is called Angelica, which is, which one was that? This one here, and uh, I was so happy for Angelica that she got a shade named after her that I bought the palette, um, and still, it is also a beautiful palette of course beyond that and I think this is a super super beautiful fall release I think that was their fall release in 2018 I want to say yeah so that is that that is this palette the fall fusion okay one that I just showed you the other day depending on when this video is going up in my haul video for the month of August and that is from Alien Cosmetics the uh, fairy frolic palette and this might be, as of right now, my favorite of all of them, you know? Because look how beautiful, look how beautiful. I have not used this yet, of course, but um, I cannot wait because this looks spectacular. This looks super, super, super dual chromey here. This rosy, I don't know, lavender purple shade, super pretty and everything else is also, oh, can't wait cannot wait to use this again I didn't buy this to be a fall palette I think I bought this in July back in July on pre-order I bought this immediately um, I did not have a fall theme in mind but now it sort of just fits together you know that it's happening to be fall okay Dino Cosmetics the Athena palette here we go you know isn't that a very very nice and gentle and soft leaning fall themed palette really you know well there's a lot of fall. <laughs> sorry did I just show you all the dirt in the palette I think some one of the shades has uh, had some fallout so now it's better I, I don't know if you even see the difference but I saw it so this is a very very beautiful and gentle palette just saying you know if that is the vibe you're, you're looking for or you're you want then uh, there you have it you have it all in this palette yeah <sighs> okay uh, OPB Beauty OPB Beauty is a UK based brand and they came out in I want to say the summer of 2019 with the tropical dreams palette now this was not a release that was meant to be necessarily a fall themed palette but you know 
I think it, it could it could work. I think it came out, I want to say, in, in August or something like this. Maybe they had it already in mind as a fall release. It could be. You know, I don't know that much about the makeup industry, how how brands are planning their releases and stuff, but I know that they have to plan, of course, a long time in advance. And especially now, it's really, really horrible for them to plan anything because who knows, like, what's going on, you know, if they get their ingredients, if they get their packaging, if they get anything, you know? So it must be really, really hard. But anyway, this is also a beautiful beautiful palette. Haven't used that in so long. Sweeties, what am I doing? Anyway, okay, then we're going on to something that I have already featured on my channel and this is the Amores USA Snow Queen palette. This is how she looks. Now, okay, okay, I give you that. We have a lot of blues here, okay, but maybe just imagine that the blues are not there. <laughs> You know, this whole second row from the top um, is, of course, just blues, but um, everything else besides that is fall themed, if you ask me, you know. But I also have one that I haven't used yet from Amaras USA, and uh, that is even more fall themed, and that is the Nala palette. You know, like, really, really, this is such a fall themed palette. Look at this. And again, you have that purple. Here you actually have a whole row of a lot of purples. Of course, all of them very, very dark leaning. But I mean, fall, it lends itself to do like more like darker, murkier looks, you know. Also, the greens are less vibrant, which is really, really nice. Here you have a beautiful pressed glitter that is like a light blue and green shifting. Super, super pretty. I think this is a beautiful, beautiful fall themed palette, you know. Okay, so we're almost done. We have three more. I hope you're not running out of steam. Okay, one more thing that you probably also saw featured in my um, August haul, collected haul video, is uh, this one. Because I just got this sent by Christine Patterson, who is one of my subscribers from Australia. And she has disclu discluttered... <laughs> She has decluttered this from her own collection and this is the So Jaded palette uh, from, from Colourpop which was in collaboration with Kathleen Lights. So this is how she looks. I don't believe that Kathleen Lights had in mind to, for this to be a fall theme palette, but it happens to be a fall theme palette, you know, beyond it being like a mineral or, or precious stones or gemstone kind of a palette. I think this can totally dupe or, or go in the vibe of a fall theme. Absolutely. You do not have like super vibrant oranges in this, but again, I don't think that I need that all the time, you know? It does not need to become boring just because we are in fall and like everybody needs to have orange. I know some of my lovelies here on my channel <laughs> they would say no we need oranges all the time because I know for example Nona my sweetheart uh, her favorite eyeshadow color is orange <laughs> and that is so sweet and she loves she loves to use orange the most you know so maybe for my Nona um, that would maybe be not necessarily the right thing for the fall but you know for her orange is all year around her favorite color just like for me all year around my favorite colors are greens and blues definitely and then right after that followed by purples so you know another palette I don't know what of all of this is right now available or whatever okay in case you're interested I will li link everything of course in the description box but you'll have to check um, where you can like if you can find it the next thing that I wanted to show you is this palette from Morphe it's the 35 M boss mode palette don't remember when this came out, maybe also like almost two years ago or something. Now, if this is not a fall theme palette, I don't know what is, you know? Like even you have uh, some oranges here, you have the purples, you have of course some greens and of course a lot of browns, some more like, it's not really red, it's more like a rosy cold neutrals kind of a thing. But anyway, I think this is a super, super pretty and big and affordable fall theme palette, you know? Absolutely. And what I also really, really like is that the browns in this palette don't lean warm. They lean more neutral to cold. And I love that. I love that, you know? So yeah, that is that. And one more thing I wanted to show you, which is from Playing and Makeup by Yolando. This is the Gemrock No Limitations palette, which looks like this. Also a beautiful fall theme, <laughs> fall theme palette, you know? I mean, yes, there is more to it, 
you know but then the traditional fall themed colors but i mean you have 30 colors in this palette so there gotta be something more than just like a green and an orange and a brown right so here you have a lot going on in addition to that yes but you do have the orangey leaning browns you have an orange you have a gold you have the purples you have a green and here you have some teals i think that is also a palette that can totally give you fall themed vibes you know and I, I do believe that like I like shopping I like makeup shopping and for me also I'm a makeup collector for me it's not necessarily what do I need it's not not the question at this point it definitely is not the question anymore do I need this unless it's something that is absolutely unusual unheard of something that is out of this world spectacular then I would just need it but maybe even then I would <laughs> I don't know you know but um, it is sort of it is so cool to just go through your collection with a um, with one question in your mind and feel like what can I make out of this question what which palette answers me when I ask this question and I was so surprised that so many palettes answered and if I would sort of stretch the theme a little bit more I think I could come up with way more than this so that is that is crazy you know so I do not believe that I have to go shopping for a fall themed palette anyway as I already said in the beginning I don't see makeup like this I just purely buy according to what I vibe with but then you know I have I have so many falling palettes already, right? Uh, yeah, so this is this is uh, really spectacular, and I'm so so glad that I did this because it just raised my awareness of what I actually have, and that I do not need to lust after everything that is out there, just because right now this has dropped, and right now this is the hype, and right now this and that, you know. It is what it is. We all have already too much of everything, probably, you know, but anyway, this is my life. This is my hobby. This is my job. So that's why I'm doing it and I'm loving it. I'm loving everything I have. I cannot see myself decluttering anything in the near future seriously like I admire people who do declutter videos I don't know how they do that it's for me it would be like giving away a child you know right now I can't do this maybe at some point I will but right now we're just adding so I really do think that th this whole part of raising awareness within me uh, was really really valuable to me because I learned something here you know uh, because we do sometimes forget what we have especially when we have bigger collections and it is just so healthy to go and see what you have and then see what you don't need or what you maybe want but don't need to buy because really does it serve any purpose you know as of right now I'm vibing more uh, with, with brands that I haven't tried yet because that is sort of my theme for this year and probably also going to be for next year and for the future because I'm into indie makeup. I want to try all kinds of different indie brands and feature them here. So that is where my heart lies and I just think that a lot of indie brands are super spectacular in the way they are thinking or, you know, I don't know, just what, what they're releasing and it's way more interesting than mainstream and for me the purpose is not to just buy the 100 millionth Too Faced palette or whatever palette, you know, I'm not like picking on Too Faced. I, it was just the first thing that came into my mind um, because just because I'm collecting this brand, I'm not there. I'm collecting makeup in general, but it still has to serve me and it still has to be good for me and it still has to be me. So that is what I wanted to share. I don't know. What do you think about that? <laughs> All right, sweeties, so let me know if you have a spectacular fall themed palette where you say, wow, Leora, you would love this. This is what you don't have and maybe you should have it because it is so, so good and I'm so enjoying it. Please leave that information in the comment section down below because I would really like to know. Not necessarily that I have to buy that now, but to know because, you know, knowledge is wealth too. So that is that. And besides that, you can, of course, share whatever you want down in the comments. You will find, hopefully, everything that I I've spoken about and showed you here linked in the description box together with the makeup that I wore today or that I'm wearing today which is by the way uh, my second look with this palette this is the Nikki tutorials and Beauty Bay palette which looks like this not really fall themed if you ask me but you know just wanted to do a few more looks with this and I think like this gentle vibe with the big lashes is really really cool also I tried to pick up the fall theme a little bit in my styling so feeling really pretty today and that is good <laughs> 
<laughs> Alright sweeties, so if you're new here and you like the vibe of my channel, please browse around in my content and see what else I have to offer. And if you like that, then please subscribe to my channel because I would love to have you here. And besides that, I'm going to see you here super soon on my channel for my next video. And up until then, definitely go ahead and sparkle. Hugs and kisses. Bye.